started. We have um, Ryan Howard and uh, Drayana Edwards with us. A uh, reminder that um, please turn off cell phones. No flash photography uh, is permitted. We'll take uh, questions in the room first and then over Zoom. Please uh, identify your name and your uh, media outlet and uh, raise your hand and I will uh, call on people and we will start right here in the center. We'll bring the mics around. Uh, my name is Lee Howard with uh, WKYT in Lexington, the CBS TV station. Uh, for either Dre or, or Ryan, uh, the momentum you guys have been carrying over the last couple of, I guess, almost a month now, with this two-week layoff since the SEC tournament championship game, is it possible to still be carrying and riding on that same momentum? It's definitely possible, and we're looking forward to getting back on the court. Um, you know, it did feel great to win that, but we've come down from that now. We're ready to keep it rolling. Yeah, well, exactly what she said. We're ready to go out there and, you know, have fun, play the game that we want to play, and we're going to go out there and do what we got to do. Princeton has such a good defense. They're, they're high up on all the metrics. They've held opponents low scoring all season. What have you guys identified in the game plan, and, and how do you plan to kind of you know pick them open tomorrow and, and get back to your scoring ways? Um, like you said, they do have very good defense, but we're just going to stick to our game plan and um, you know play Kentucky basketball, go out there, have fun, and do what we do. Yeah, I'm gonna piggyback off that. Um, we can't let them control us. We can only play our games and control what we control. I'm sure you're both aware, well uh, aware of what happened last night to the Kentucky men's team. Uh, that's March. So how do you did that affect you guys at all? That it maybe get you more focused, or how do you guys avoid a similar, you know, uh, upset type of situation? Um, we're definitely like you know devastated about it. Like we wanted them to win, but I mean we got to focus on ourselves, and we're, we're here to win. So that's what we're focused on. We're locked in, and we're ready. So. What she said, I mean, we, I mean, both of us can't lose in the first round, so, right. I mean, we got to hold it down. Questions for the student athletes? We'll go uh, in the back here, and then here. Tanya Witt, Sports View America. Um, for either of you, how do you feel about a uh, Monday matchup with former teammates Kiki McKinney and Cameron Roach? That'd be pretty fun to me. Most definitely. I would be excited to play against them. Um, we hoping that they win. We want to play against them. Uh, definitely would be fun to play. Yeah. Uh, Michael Esther, uh, WDKY in Lexington. You mentioned the layoff. I guess for you guys, you're just going out there and playing ball. But for 13 days off, does that matter at all? Um, how do those first few minutes go? And how do you guys kind of get back into that, you know, that vibe that you were in on the 10-game winning streak? Um, I didn't even realize we had 13 days off, honestly. Um, so, I mean, we've been working. We've been in the gym. So, I mean, we didn't have 13 days off, honestly. <laughs> so, we're going to go out there, like I said, and play Kentucky basketball. Yeah. Yeah, we just ready to be back out there. I didn't realize it was that long either. Um, but we just been looking forward to it. And it's just, you know, March is, you know, what everyone looks forward to. And we want to be a part of it. Um, Ryan, you're obviously the focus of a lot of other teams when they play Kentucky, but Dre in particular has really stepped up and played well. For, for either of you, how do you make sure that this weekend is more about the team and not just Ryan having to take over a game to win it? Um, it hasn't been about me taking over the game in the past couple of months. Um, like you said, we've been having fun, and it's really been, you know, letting other people shine and step up and play how they want to play and be confident in themselves. Um, with Dre stepping up, like you said, I'm always looking to get her the ball, looking to get her going early because, like, nobody can stop her down there or anywhere. Um, so, yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, like, I feel like our team in general, everybody can do something. So it, the focus doesn't have to be on Ryan. Um, it could be on me or it could be on Robin or it could be on Treasure. It could be on Jazz. Like, we have a lot of other players that can score and do things on the court as well. So the focus doesn't have to be on her all the time. And it, it allows us all to, uh, you know, like, keep our confidence and everybody just play poise and have fun together. Uh, Dre, just what's the l last week been like for you since you hit the shot against South Carolina? And, and can you just kind of take us through, or I guess week, like two weeks now, just what's it been like, you know, being you during that span? Um... 
I mean, my phone's been blowing up like crazy. Um, I've been getting a lot of followers everywhere. A lot of people been contacting me um, and things like that. But I've just been staying focused on what we got next. Um, I was definitely excited, um, but I had to put that behind me now because we're, we're focused on the next championship. So I just got to stay focused and locked in. Over here, Ryan, after the selection show, uh, talking to you, you mentioned Princeton, playing them your freshman year. Uh, as you've kind of got ready for them, what kind of, could you just break that down a little bit more, just how crazy it is that you're playing against them like you did your freshman year, and how are you trying to get the same result this time around? Um, kind of a similar team, kind of a different team, but uh, it's definitely, you know, always a pleasure to play against someone like kind of familiar because you know what to expect a little bit. Um, but we're ready to work. We're ready to come out there and make the same thing happen this freshman year. Having been in Bloomington already this year once and, and played in this gym and, and kind of maybe gone through similar routine things compared to the tournament, does that provide any kind of advantage, just that familiarity of, of having played in Assembly Hall just a couple months ago? Um, I would say it does help us because we know how it feels. We know like what the atmosphere is going to be like. Um, got to feel for the rims and stuff. It's just we have more of an advantage, especially with it being so close to Kentucky. I feel like we're going to have a, a good fan base here. Yeah, we know what to expect for the most part. So pretty much what Ross said. Brian Saul from LEX18. Are you expecting a bigger crowd now that some people don't have some things to do on Saturday? <laughs> oh, he got to. I don't know who he has. Um, definitely. I mean, <coughs> who else they gonna cheer for besides us? I mean, I mean, why not come down and cheer for us? Like, we have yet to let y'all down. So. Right. Yeah, we're expecting a big crowd. Hopefully, they come through. I think they will, though. They should. Yeah, they should. Additional questions for the student athletes? <coughs> Anyone? I'm just curious logistically, where did you guys watch the game, the UK game last night, and like kind of where were you at? Um, in our hotel room. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we were all. Um, no. Um, no. no. <laughs> no we, was, we was texting in our group chat, like, well, did you see that? Like, wow, like, this is crazy. Yeah, but we were all relaxing, um, staying off our feet, you know. See no more questions. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. We will have.